welcome back to Dean and Dory. We really appreciate all of our viewers. And this is a special video because I had found when I was using my serger that at times my lower looper thread would break. And when I looked at the manual, I could never figure out how to thread it. And of course it would make me rethread the entire machine. So I would always have to wait for my husband to come home from work and have him do it for me because I just couldn't figure it out. So I asked him if we could do a video on rethreading that lower looper so that if he wasn't home, I could watch it and then figure out how to do it. So um, it's much easier than the manual. We found the manual was very, very hard to understand. And the manual tells you, you have to take the entire um, machine and rethread it. But my husband uh, found a way that we could do it without rethreading the entire machine. So that's what this video is about. It's about threading that lower looper in the particular Husky Lock 1003 LCD that I have. So I hope that some other people can find this useful. We looked all over on the internet, couldn't find anything on it. I know it's an older machine, but I like the way it does so when it does, when it, when it, the threads are all in the right spot. Um, I did get it at um, off Facebook Marketplace. There was an older lady who had like four sergers. This was one of them, and she's like, I just don't need it because I have these other sergers. And I think it was probably too complicated for her. Um, and I think it would be too complicated for anybody if they didn't have this video to watch. So we're hoping that uh, those who have this machine will enjoy this video and find it useful. So the thread breaks, lift this thing up, take your foot off, give you more access, get the cutter out of the way. Your foot's up in the air, Let's get some of the threads out of there. Okay, now your two black threads are the ones for the needle. So, cut the two black threads. Get the two black threads out of the way. Those are the needle threads. Yep, those are the two needle threads. The pink one is the upper looper. This one's the upper looper. That one was fine. It's the lower looper one that's always breaking. Yeah. Let me let me get the red one out of the way because it seems like you got to do the blue one first because the red one's in the way. Even though I don't think that's the order they want you to do it in. So that the blue thread that he's pulling on that is the lower looper. The alligator clip goes down. Go from the bottom up and put it back so that those triangles match. Okay, this is where it gets hard because of the fingers, but we'll see if we can it get didn't it, from, do it from the top. Didn't do it. It's got to, it's got to flip back behind there. So there's a little groove right in that alligator clip yep. at the very top, yep. and that groove is where you got to get that thread in, and then line up. Ooh can't see your fingers. See, now it's got to be straight with that. Okay, straight across then to the actual looper that it's going to the get very threaded. Top looper. You see how it's straight across there? Mm-hmm. That's, that's what it's supposed to do. The alligator jaw opens and flips the string on the back side of that gizmo there. See? Now, to give you an idea of where it's at, you're coming in from the side of the serger. There. See, it's on the back side of the hooper. There's that. 
see it. And right there is the alligator jaw. The alligator jaw dropped it on the back side. See that? Mm -hmm. And it goes out of focus. And that's that's the hooper. Now the hooper's in, in focus. See that? And right there's the tip of the hooper or the hole in the hooper. Oh, okay. And that and it's gotta go straight across there. Okay? Mm-hmm. Stop? Yep. And it's supposed to go up underneath. Mm -hmm. Underneath that little blue thing right there. Like that. So on this particular machine, the lower looper follows the blue lines. So it goes down like this. Now we're sticking it through this upper. Now the pink one is the right upper there. looper. That's following the green lines, the green dots on the machine. Now, I didn't quite get what you were doing there. Just threaded the pink one. Okay, and where did it come from? Down, okay, over there. So it goes through this, there's a little clip thing there. Does it go through that clip thing? See, it just went through that. See, yeah, that. what I'm asking about is, so I can't show you, that clip there, right there. Yeah, oops, go back, See? go back, right there. No, go up, right there. That clip thing, it has yeah. to go through that. It, yeah, it gets caught behind it. Okay. Okay. It seems like that's important to know. Okay, then bring your two needles down, two needle threads back down. Drop this down. Push the little button here. Okay. And I put my cutter back in place. Close the cutter door. You need to close the. Make sure that's tight. Okay, and I, can, I put it right up to where the needles are at. Okay. I lower it. And I, I try to pull on, on the threads just a little bit. So if it was going to break, it would probably break have broken by now. For sure. So now he's making the chain. Okay. It's good. Now if you start another one, you stick it. Right up about where the needle start. And just pull on that tail just a little bit. Now we'll get going again. You're such a straight cutter. See that? Mm-hmm. Very good. They always leave a long tail. Mm -hmm. So when you start, you can... He's got a little black thread there from a previous sewing. Okay, pull on that tail just a little bit.
Okay, thank you. Hang on, now. Okay, you gotta push this to the side. And then you can take this out of here. See? You gotta push that back. And now I get it. The S is for serger plate and the C is for the cover stitch plate. Yep. Cool. So this is your display, which tells you, like right now I have it for four thread overlock. If I change it, letter A, it will tell me what I'm looking for. So I did have it on cover stitch, but no, I had it on try cover stitch. Now I wanna go back to four thread overlock. I'm using what kind of fabric? Thick, thick stretch, normal, normal stretch, thin, thin stretch is what I'm using. And then if I go to A or B, it's going to tell me how to use the tensions and I don't know, this is tensions, what are these? Are these tensions also? But see, it will tell me, now it tells me, make sure all your front needles are removed. You have your two rears, right and left. Which plate, serger plate, LR5 foot, your cutter is up, your stitch finger is left, your converter lever is up, your cutter cover is one, your chain stitch lever is up. Differential feed is the first one on your left down here. If you can go down here, that's one. And then the length is three, the width is five. Go back up here, tells you how to thread it, which thread. And then these are the tensions, three, three, four, four. It's just a matter of changing the dial for the tension and then end. Now I'm ready to do a four thread overlock on my thin stretch material. So now he's making the chain.